So pumped. You know, uh, Rattlesnake Kink, the new show, musical, debuting at the Wolf Theater. I was lucky enough to talk to the show's composer and creator and to see it on opening night. And now I get to talk to one of the stars as well. Gina's there. Hey, Gina, I got to see you. You did an awesome job there on stage. So let me first off say Thank kudos you. to you. Well done. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, I got to say first off, uh, what I liked most about the show is that it it's actually a woman and characters that existed in Colorado with a modern message of, of how it, what it means to be a woman in your yeah. character in particular. Yes, definitely. My character, Celia, is, you know, a really strong woman. Nothing holds her back and she's going to get what she wants and she's going to find her way to make that happen for herself. But she does it in a world that doesn't really make it easy for a woman, especially in the West at that time, no? Exactly, exactly. I love the music, too. She has too. to use, like, specific tactics. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. She knows what to do to get it to work. <laughs> and, and at the end of the day, it does work for her. And the music, you know, I, there were so many songs of this written by, of course, a former member uh, of the Lumineers. So the music's phenomenal. How cool is it to be a part of a world premiere like this? Oh, my goodness. It has been a dream. I'm so grateful for every moment we're on stage. Um, just the whole the whole rehearsal process has been incredible. And the music especially is just it, it's really gut wrenching and it really hits yeah. you in a spot that um, is really, really special. And I hope that it just keeps moving on and getting bigger and bigger. I, it did. You know, my husband and I went to go see it, and we talked about it quite a while, about what the women of the West, what really, uh, what it took to just even survive, let alone thrive. And speaking of, i got to mention briefly, you are a cancer survivor, and you're inspiring and thriving, and you're doing it all on social media. What's going on with your social media accounts? Oh, my goodness. Um, <laughs> I've kind of been documenting a little bit of, I recently just went through thyroid cancer about a year ago and when you have thyroid cancer you have to get your thyroid taken out and that is very hard for a singer um, and a performer because that's right near your voice box so I've worked for this past year really hard on building back my voice and Rattlesnake Kate is actually the first musical that I've done since this whole yeah. ordeal and you know the musical kind of parallels that for me because, you know, Kate's outlook on life was to never give up and never give up on your dreams and your goals and um, to not let anything hold you back. And that's kind of what I've been doing for the past year. So I, I really connect with the whole musical. You know, it could be a bumper sticker, right? Never give up until you see yeah. someone like you who actually puts it to work. You're an inspiration. So is the musical. Maybe one day they'll do a musical about your life, too. Uh -huh. Meantime, we got to go see Rattlesnake Kate. It's down there at the Wolf Theater at the uh, DPAC, Denver Performing Arts Center. Go do yourself a favor and break a leg today, my dear. Continued yes, success. Thank you so much. See you on stage. Thank you for having me. Bye. Hey, from modern.